Welcome everybody. We're going to go through real quick and see how to restart the radios one and two uh, insurgency servers. So let's go take just a minute, log in. Uh, this will be a real brief video. It's pretty easy. Now this will cause anybody that's logged into either one of the servers that you restart this way. Uh, it will cause their game to lock up for a minute or more. You may want to make sure that nobody's logged in. Usually when you're restarting the server like this, there's a problem with the server. Nobody's logged in anyway, but uh, do use your ISRT program, please, to make sure nobody's there and you don't uh, disconnect somebody in case they've been playing and they've got some points. Make sure you do a victory restart, which, again, will require you to log into the game, get their points, if it's able to run. Uh, if you're having some other problem like a griefer or something like that on the server, you can't control through in-game kick or ban commands or the ISRT program uh, for various reasons. Uh, this would be your last resort is to come in here and shut the game down, uh, shut the server down rather. So let's let's get right into it. Like I said, this will be a real quick video. Um, so we'll just put our username and login uh, password here. And uh, of course, I've got that blanked out but you should get this stuff from uh your admin and gm they'll give you the login uh link up there and uh all of your credentials that you will need to be able to see the things in this uh in this portal here web portal so it brings you even even as uh, you may get a little bit different screen depending on which rights you have been given uh as a server admin so you may not see exactly this, but one thing you will see is game services, and this is where we need to go. Uh, this gives us access to both of the servers that are on this Streamline account. And again, we're using Streamline servers uh, as the host for these two servers. Uh, one thing I need to say real quick, this player count here is not current to real time. Uh, it's a few minutes behind reality, in other words. So don't go by this, go by uh, probably the most effective way to see who is actually currently in the server is ISRT. Uh, the radio standby.us website is is also a few minutes behind reality. So uh, that's all I wanted to mention here was uh, don't go by these numbers. There could be a zero or a number there, a player there rather. Nobody's a number. You know that. Here's how you tell which server it is. Of course, this is, I would guess this is one and two, but it, over here is the identifier. So radio is one, radio is two. You can also tell radio is one is the bigger server, more player slots. Anyway, so once you, uh, once you come to the dashboard, click game services real quick. If we want to restart uh, radio is one, here it is. Same thing for two. Now, once you do this, this will change to restarting. The, the status will change to restarting. And it takes about, for these two servers, it takes about 10, 15 seconds, I think, for the process to finish. So um, if you're able to log in quickly to the panel here, uh, you can get a server restarted in less than a minute. So uh, it doesn't take much time at all. And once you finish this, make sure you log out. Log out is right up here. And that way you don't have anybody uh, messing with your credentials and things on the server. Uh, again, you may have options. You can, if, if you have the ability given to you by your admin for the server control, you may have the ability to click on the IP address like I just did. And that would bring you to some of the configuration files here, which that's not the scope of this video, so we won't go into that. Uh, again, game services. If you need to restart one, verify which server it is. Check your, uh, do I have ISR? I do, look at here. So let's see, Radio Standby 1, nobody's on there. Radio Standby 2, nobody's on there. Let's go ahead and give both of them a good restart. What do you say? So restart 1. And I would go ahead and let them do, it. these are on separate boxes. They're separate IP addresses as well. So... Uh, different machines, physical machines. You could technically go restart, restart. However you want to do that, doesn't matter. Usually you won't be coming in here restarting both of these. Uh, we have these scheduled to restart every morning before 
I think it's around 7 a.m. Eastern. Anyway, not the scope of this video. So they both restarted, they're running. Then you can slide back over if you want to hit hot potato or something, you can make your changes here on whichever server you need to set it on. Uh, but that's it, that's all you have to do. Log in, go to game services, it takes you here, find your server, restart, watch the status and make sure it comes back to running, right? If it's not running, you need to call a opt down or some. Uh, hop on Discord, find another admin, find out what's wrong with this. Uh, no, leave these servers down. <laughs> Please. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Radiostandby.us is our website. You are the best person on the face of the planet, and we love every one of you. All of you. You have, I'm not talking about multiple personalities, just, you know, more than you. You got a friend watching, maybe? You should. Radio Standby, where you can be somebody today.